Good morning, yogis. Welcome to your virtual YMCA of Western North Carolina. My name is Natalie. Today we're going to be doing vinyasa yoga. I'm here at the Mission Party Health Campus, um, our Fledgeway location. Um, a couple of things going on around here before we get started. Um, Strong Challenge is ongoing. Um, just 20 minutes a day of movement. This counts. I think you get double bonus points for this. Um, you keep track of your own things. Uh, the app will track it if you have a device. Um, it links right to the app. There's really not a whole lot that you have to do. So make sure you're getting in that 20 minutes of movement every day. Um, our group exercise is continuing outside, weather permitting. Today it's a little bit cold. Um, I think our 815 athletic conditioning, I saw came inside. If you do come inside with group exercise or for to just work out on your own, Masks are still required in our facilities in all areas. They are only optional on our cardio equipment. So please make sure that you have masks when you come in. If not, we have them available for you. Um, what else do we have going on? Um, I know that this Thursday is Glow Yoga at Guidon Brewery in Hendersonville. Um, I think there's still some, some slots left there. You can check the app to sign up. We have mindful meditation coming up with Mary Kinsey um, next week. Uh, that's also live on the app and on the website. You can register that way. Um, lots of things coming up to try to get you all engaged again. Um, at the start of the year, uh, we're gonna revamp that life change challenge that we were doing here at the Fletcher location. Um, and I think probably bring that to Hendersonville too. Just that monthly check-in, keeping you accountable for what you're doing, what you're feeding yourself, how you're thinking, um, any goals that you're setting for yourself. Um, just, a, just a really good way to stay accountable. So um, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started with some yoga, enough of my blabbing. A um, couple things to keep in mind here, first and foremost, is to pay attention to your body and how it feels. Don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about fully getting into all of the postures. Sometimes we push so hard to the end result that we kind of miss that, that journey on the way. So stop when you need to, take breaks when you need to, listen to your body. I am guilty just like everybody else of pushing through and now I'm nursing a little injury. So modify what you need to, work with what you've got going on today. We're gonna to start in child's pose, toes touching, knees about mat width apart, just allowing the belly to fall gently between the knees. Relaxing the head down. Taking some time here to settle into your practice. Beginning to turn on your ujjayi breathing. Long deep inhales and exhales through the nose with a slight constriction on the back of the throat. This breath guides your practice. We're working to link each and every move and each and every transition to a breath. Begin to activate your child's pose, press down into the fingertips, elevate the forearms off the mat, shoulders away from the ears. On your next inhale, pick up the torso, walk it towards the right. We're working here to open the left side body, trying to create space between each and every rib on the left. Walk it back through center and all the way over to the left. Walk it back through center and set your intention. Make this intention something you can come back to throughout your practice when things get a little tough. Gently find a tabletop position, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, beginning to warm the spine, moving through some cat-cow. Inhale, 
Arch the back, take the gaze to the sky. Exhale, round and curl, navel to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round and curl. Moving through a few sets of cat cow at your own pace, allowing the breath to guide your breath. Find your way back to tabletop. Dial the fingertips towards the knees, opening up the wrists. This is an area of the body often ignored. This is a really important stretch for those of us that spend quite a bit of time on the computer, on our devices, typing, texting. Flip the hands so the palms are facing up. Make fists, open them up. Bend and straighten the elbows. Plant the palms back into the mat. Spread the fingers wide, grounding down into the finger pads. Extend the right arm out, bicep to ear. As you inhale, sweep it back, up, and around. Opening up the shoulder joint, getting the synovial fluid moving. On your next go around, reverse the direction. Extend the right fingertips to the sky. Open the chest. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, thread the right arm under the body, right shoulder blade to the edge of the mat. Pressing down into the top of the right and palm of the left hand for leverage. So in this practice, you always have options. You can stay right here. You can find a bind behind the back, grabbing the inside of the right back. If you'd like to make this a challenge on your balance, left leg back and up. Maybe right heel to glute. Should you topple all the way over, shake it off, laugh at yourself, and join me back when you're ready. You're flying the back leg, gently release, and unwind to tabletop. Reset your tabletop, extend the left arm out, bicep to ear. As you inhale, sweep it back up and around. Reverse the direction. Extend the left fingertips to the sky, open the chest, deep inhale. Exhale, thread left arm under the body, left shoulder blade to the neck. Again, yogi's choice to stay or play. You can find a bind. Right leg back and up, and maybe left heel to glute. You're flying the back leg, gently return it to the mat, and unwind to tabletop. Keep the hips stacked over the knees, walk the hands out, melt chin and chest to the mat, down and back. Slither all the way onto the belly, finding space pose, Forearms parallel, palms grounded, pressing down into the tops of the feet. Pull back with the hands as you press the chest forward and take the gaze slightly up. Thinking of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Gently release, arms by the sides, palms face up, right ear to the mat. Squeeze the legs together, toes and heels touch, all 10 toenails pressing down into the mat. Come back to your center, palms beneath the shoulders, hug the elbows in and up like little grasshopper weights. 
Float the palms just above the mat. Exhale out all of your breath. As you inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Again, shoulder blades squeezing together, chest pressing forward. Gently release. Arms by the sides, left ear to the Come back through center, squeeze the legs back together, ground down into the toenails. Palms frame the chest, elbows hug in. We're using a little bit of upper body strength this time. Exhale out all of the breath. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drive the chest forward, ground down into the tops of the feet. Legs are engaged. Gently Press the hips back. Close knee, child's pose. Find your way back to tabletop. Bringing your focus into the hands. Fingers are spread wide, so you're making your hands as big as you can. Ground down into the finger pads. So this is something we want to keep any time that we're putting our body weight on our hands. In a plank, in a down dog, in a chaturanga. We have a tendency to let that weight come to the outside later, pinky, pinky finger side edge of the hand. So I really want you to focus on the index finger and thumb here. Hug the biceps in, shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the toes and lift the hips, coming into our first down dog. Find some movement, bend and straighten, one knee at a time. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. We're still in that waking up the body phase. Maybe roll to the tops of one or both feet. Take the gaze between the hands. As you exhale, with straight legs and flexed feet, baby step your way all the way to the top of the mat, engaging your pelvic floor or mula bandha with each step. Meeting an Uttanasana forward fold, little bend in the knees, and just let the upper body hang heavy. Allow gravity to do your work for you. Keep that bend in the knees, begin to pull navel to spine, slowly roll in. One vertebra at a time. Shoulders back and down at the top. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, baby back bend, lift the chest towards the sky. Inhale through center. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger. Weight is distributed for right now evenly between the feet. Legs are active, reach up, get tall. As you exhale, press the hips to the left, torso to the right. I want you to make sure here, left hip and shoulder are, if you think about it in like a side plank, are on top of the rim. So think left hip forward, Right hip back, chin away from the chest. Inhale through center, reset, get a little bit taller. Press the hips to the right, torso to the left. Biceps to the ears, arms are straight. Think of reaching up and over. Inhale through center, release your bind. Hands to low back, fingers can face up or down, doesn't really matter either way. I want you to think elbows in, chest up, legs are straight and active. Come back through center, hands to the hips, feet about hips distance apart, little bend in the knees, 
Hinge from the hips. Peace finger bind around the big toes. Parangustasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Elbows out to the side. Shoulders away from the ears. Crown of the head to the floor. Sits bones to the ceiling. So keep as much of a bend in the knees as you need. Inhale, lengthen. Release your bind. Take your entire palm under your foot. Toe tips to wrist creases. Padahastasana. Again, bend your knees as much as you need to to get there. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Begin to shift the weight forward out of the heels and into the balls of the feet, letting go of that fear of falling forward. Inhale, lengthen, release your bind, plant the palms, step back to plank. Hips and shoulders in line, crown of the head reaching forward, heels reaching back. Either from this plank or approaching it from a modified plank position with the knees down, notice hips are still forward. Shoulders come forward, exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in tight to the body, tips of the shoulders point forward. Inhale to upward face or cobra. Exhale, downward face. Inhale the right leg back then. Open the hip, bend and straighten the knee, circle out the ankle, wiggle out the toes, whatever you gotta do here. Sometimes I like to close the hip and bring the right foot to the left side of my mat, press the hips up. Inhale, right toes to the sky, high on the ball of the left foot. Exhale, round and curl, knee to nose. Inhale, the right leg back. This time, close the hip, dial the toes in towards the midline, and reach back. Inhale, high on the ball of the left foot. Exhale, round and curl, knee to nose. Right toes sweep the sky. Step it through. Right side lunge. Lower the left knee and lift the torso. Shift the hips forward, working into the left hip flexor. I was super cold this morning. I think I have four shirts on at this point. I'm not used to doing yoga like this. Shift the hips back, straighten the right leg. Flex the right toes back towards the face, Ardha Hanumanasana. I want you to think, drive forward through the ball of the right foot, work the right hip back and down. Bend back into the right knee, tuck the left toes, you are in lunge. Walk the torso towards the left, finding your way into Prasarita Padatanasana, wide-legged forward fold. So just like in your closed-legged forward fold, let the upper body hang, letting gravity traction out the spine. Releasing any tension through the cervical spine, shake the head yes, shake the head no. Palms beneath the shoulders, inhale to flat back. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale all the way up to stand. Interlace the hands behind you, chest to the sky. As you exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Allow the fist to fall towards the floor. Work the shoulders away from the ears. Keep that little bend in the knees. Release our bind, palms beneath the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, walk it around, right side lunge. Right foot meets left leg. Chaturanga. 
Inhale, upper face. Exhale, downward face. Inhale, the left leg back and up. Open the hip, bend and straighten the knee, circle out the ankle. Again, sometimes I like to close the hip and bring the left foot to the right side of the mat, press the hips back. Left toes to the sky, high on the ball of the right foot. Exhale, round and curl, knee to hips. Extend the left heel behind you, keep the hips closed. Inhale, high on the ball of the right foot. Exhale, round and curl. Left toes sweep the sky. Step it through, left side lunge. Walk the torso towards the right, finding your way back in your prasarita padatanasana. This time, peace finger bind around the big toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold elbows out to the side, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lengthen. Plant the right palm beneath the face. Release your bind on the left side. Low back stays flat so your hips are squared. We're twisting from the thoracic spine, left fingertips to the sky. Think right hip up. Crown of the head forward, sits bones back. Gently release. Left palm beneath the face. Re-engage the legs, quads are active, kneecaps are lifted, twist, right fingertips to the sky. Gently release, walk the hands out, send the hips back and up, wide legged down. Walk the hands in, dial the fingertips behind you, working the torso through the thighs. So, crown of the head to the floor, sit bones to the ceiling, shoulders away from the ears. Begin to walk the hands back out, palms beneath the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen flat back. As you exhale, bend into the right leg, straighten the left, left toes back towards the face. So maybe your heel lifted and your knee is pointing forward. If that is happening, bring your hips up. Ground down into the right heel, right knee behind the toes. Inhale through center, exhale into the other side. Straighten the right leg, right toes flex back towards the face. Left heel is grounded. Again, if it's popping up and your knee's coming forward, your hips just come a little higher. Inhale through center, palms beneath the shoulders. Lengthen to flat back. As you exhale, walk it around. Left side lunge. Lower the right knee. Shift the hips forward, working in to the right hip flexor. Shift the hips back, straighten the left leg, left toes flex back towards the face, Ardha Padmanasana. Bend back into the left knee, tuck the right toes, you're back in lunge. Press down into the hand, step left foot to meet the right plank. Lower halfway, Chaturanga. Inhale to upward face. Exhale to downward face. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Peace finger bind around the right big toe. Left hand to hip. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Press down into the left heel to pick the right foot straight up. So you're pulling the femur up to meet the hip crease. So we're not going out to the side or back, straight up. 
pelvic floor strength, core strength. Maybe today it's just a tap. Maybe you hold it. Maybe take it out to the side. Maybe you wobble around a little bit. Eventually, we will meet standing with either right leg extended with a bind around the big toe or right knee bent, grabbing onto the knee. Working to stand up tall so we don't want to lean into the left side to counter our balance. Navel to spine, shoulders away from the ears. Bring the right knee towards center or piece finger bind around the right big toe. Right leg is straight again. Shoulders over hips, over knee, over heel. Find tree pose. So you can either half lotus, right foot can come to the inside of the calf, inside of the thigh. Just make sure your hips are slightly tucked. Right knee is working back, shoulders away from the ears. One or both hands to heart center. You can grow your branches. It is up to you, lots of variation. Gently release. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale through center, a little bend in the knees. Exhale to swan dive forward. Peace finger bind around the left big toe, right hand to hip. Press down into the right foot, lift the left foot straight up. Again, maybe it's a tap today. Maybe you extend it out to the left. Maybe you bring it all the way up to stand. Maybe, like me, you weren't listening to your body earlier and you hurt your low back. So you come up to stand and you grab your knee. Find your breath. Find your dristy. Left knee comes towards center or piece finger bind around the left big toe, extending the left leg out. Left side tree, left foot, into right calf, right inner thigh, maybe half lotus. Slight tuck of the tail, left knee working back. Gently release your tree. Inhale, arms up, face up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale through center. A little bend in the knees. Exhale to swan dive forward. Inhale, lengthen like flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen like flat back. Exhale, walk step or floated back. Try to rock up. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. Take the gaze about a foot in front of your mat. As you exhale, walk, step, or float all the way through to your seat. Legs extended out in front of you. Feet flexed. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale to hinge forward. So a lot of times we like to round and curl and try to get our forehead to our shins. Instead of that, I want you to stay long through the spine and think crown of the head forward. Inhale up through center. Figure four, the leg, so right ankle crosses over left knee. Bend the left knee, heel towards glute. The closer your heel gets to your butt, the more intense this is going to be. I want you to think 
right knee forward, left knee in towards the chest. Gently release. Give it a little shimmy shake. Cross left ankle over right knee. Bend right knee in towards the chest. This time, left knee is working forward, right knee is hugging in. Gently release, a little shimmy shake. Bend the right knee, step the right foot over the left leg. You can leave the left leg straight or you can bend left heel to glute. You can use your hands, lift up, get tall, and twist towards the right. Or you can plant the right palm to the base of the spine. Inhale, left fingertips to the sky. Exhale to twist. Really focus on pressing down into the sole of the right foot. Gently release, counter to the left. Back through center, extend the legs out. Reset, bend left knee, step left foot over right leg. Again, you can stay here, or you can bend the right knee, heel to glute, Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Interlace the hands around the left knee, twist towards the left, left palm to the base of the spine, inhale, reach up, get tall, exhale to twist. Every inhale, you get a little bit taller. Every exhale, you twist a little bit deeper. Release to center. Counter to the right. Release to center. Bend the knees in towards the chest. Grab behind the knees. Roll it back. Plant the soles of the feet to the floor. Heels towards the glutes. Arms by the sides. Palms facing down. On your next inhale, press down into the heels to lift the hips. Bridge. Press into the big toe mounds of both feet. This will help activate the inner thighs. Gently release, heel toe the feet about back with apart. Allow the knees to fall in towards one another. Heel toe the feet back in, heels to glutes. This time, you have the option to interlace the hands behind you and work the shoulders under the body. On your next inhale, press down into the heels to lift the hips. Again, you can shimmy the shoulders under the body. Chin away from the chest. Gaze straight up. Release your bind, slowly lower. Knees together, feet about mat with the front. Windshield wiper out the legs. Come back through center, extend the left leg along the mat, hug the right knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers just below the knee. Clear the rib cage, work right knee into arm. Extend the right arm out. Stack right knee over hip. Use the left hand to guide right knee across the body, reclining belly to twist. Gently 
release to center. Switch sides, hug the left knee in towards the chest, extend the right leg along the mat, clear the rib cage, left knee to arm. Gently release, left knee overhead, left arm extends out, right hand guides, left knee across the body, reclining belly to Release to center, hug both knees in towards the chest. Maybe a little rock side to side. On your next inhale, hold in the breath as you pull the forehead up to meet the knees and engage every single muscle in the body. Make this punch your jaw, pull your toes, pull your shoulders all the way up to your ears. As you exhale, release. Extend the legs out in front of you. Allow the feet to flop to the sides. Arms by the sides, palms facing up to receive, down to ground. Working to relax every single muscle in the body. Letting go of your ujjayi breathing. And moving into your most important pose, allowing the body to heal. Final shavasana. Please allow at least five minutes of time in this quiet, and stillness. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you always for practicing with me. Namaste.